facility, and yet you continue to make some improvements. What sorts of things have you done here that, uh, since this facility was built? Yeah, I think what you see here, Eric, are, are a couple things that we've learned along the way as we've, we've uh, gained the technology and knowledge and what we've learned from some of our newer facilities. You know, we were just at a facility that was nice and big and, and tall and bright. Well, we've been in business for 43 years, so we obviously didn't start with that kind of greenhouse. We started in, in a facility much more like what you see here, and that is a shorter greenhouse, double poly. Um, but what we've also incorporated is some of the newer innovations that we've learned over the years in order to gain that, uh, to gain that efficiency that, that we need. We continue to aggressively reinvest back into our business, and what you see here is that. Uh, we took an older facility, uh, and added uh, automated tables to it. Um, a couple things, we added uh, overhead echo conveyor, uh, hanging basket system, energy curtains, and maybe most importantly, we made this model of irrigation consistent with what we already have with the zero runoff platform, where the tables are ebb and flooded, and then all that water is returned to holding tanks, and it continues to be reused. So again, zero waste, zero runoff, a closed system effectively that allows us to operate these facilities from an irrigation standpoint at, at a similar level of efficiency. And that wouldn't be possible unless we invested in the business. Absolutely, yeah. Cap, we're aggressively committed to our capital expenditure program. So sustainability involves not only being more efficient in your inputs, yeah. as we go by yeah, right here in October, but uh, being profitable at the same time. Yeah, what's often good for the environment, we found is often good for business. Ha, ha, ha.